We're heading to the far north, to a place where once the sea froze in summer, but not anymore. All around the Arctic, the effects of global warming are multiplying. This is a gigantic glacier tumbling off Greenland's ice sheet near Alulasat. It's hard to judge its size, but that cliff face is one and a half kilometers high. And it's moving, accelerating, and this in a year when nearly all the surface area of the Greenland ice cap melted. The speeds that we're seeing at Jakobshavn are quite fast. We're seeing speeds up to, I think, about 60 meters a day, which is faster than was observed in the past. So there's definitely things speeding up, um, but it's not clear that it's directly related to that warming event that you saw earlier this summer. It may be related to warming events that took place a decade or more ago. At sea level, the majesty of the Arctic is breathtaking. It is just spectacular, isn't it? You can see why this whole area is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And you also get a real sense of the sheer scale, the sheer size of the Greenland ice cap. These colossal icebergs are just mere fragments of the ice sheet that have been toppling off into the ocean and are doing so in larger and larger numbers every year. We're on our way to join a small expedition exploring just what the changing climate means for the Arctic and all that lives there. What we're seeing now is so much faster than anything anybody's seen before. It used to be in what they call geological time, you know, over many, many, many thousands of years. Right. Now we're seeing it in people's lifetimes. That's the difference. We are already deep inside the Arctic Circle, but still we need to push a thousand kilometers further north. This is Karnak, a community at the top of the world. It's so remote, in winter, they drag an iceberg onto shore for drinking water. Our team of scientists and Arctic experts aim to sail as far north as possible, to the very edge of the sea ice, and then cross Baffin Bay to the Canadian Arctic. Clearly, a journey to be taken seriously. What are we going to do if we have to abandon the ship? Uh, show you how to get into things like this, our ice survival suit, in case we do have to leave the vessel and get in the life raft. To an outsider, things are very different here. Where sled puppies chew on whale bones and children play in the midnight sun. And you swiftly learn it's best to leave any preconceptions on the boat. Tomorrow, we weigh anchor. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Canuck, Greenland.